Looks like Ding Dang Old Super Mario World, I'll tell you what. Hey, what are we doing today? We're not selling hot dogs. We are installing radon systems. Hi. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, yeah. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators. I was looking to get in the business. If you're home, you can stay and hang out. Check out www.nrsb.org. That's the National Radon Safety Board. Just plug in your zip code there. And that'll pull up a list of certified radon professionals in your area. Woo! All right, so today, uh, this video is called Your Sump Pit is Killing You. And, um, well, I'll get to that here in a moment. So, uh, split level homes. Here we are. Uh, so, we are treating this lowest level of the home but we are also treating as evidenced by that T this level of the home as well I like to do that and I've been 100% uh, successful on the first try every time doing it like that so I'm gonna keep doing it like that because it's working um, some pit is killing you Ooh. Well, let me tell you a little backstory. So when these folks called me, they said, you know, our uh, we tested our house before we bought it here recently, and uh, it came in at about five. So we're kind of iffy if we need to treat it. So I said, hey, why don't you just borrow my little thingamabob, and you can sort of move it around since you have two basements, and, uh, you know, let me know if you need me. They need me. Kind of freaky working in an area. You know that it's around 30 Pico Curies. So if it was five, it ain't five anymore. Um, so we've deduced by moving my thingamabop around, that's a technical term for uh, digital radon monitor. <laughs> and uh, we've noticed that it was at the highest levels right here near the sump pit. So if you watch my videos, and my policy on sump pits is as follows. Um, ignore it altogether, cover it up, or pull fry it. So today, we're pulling from it. And so I've got two inch pipe running all the way back to the four inch, right? And I've got it labeled with little stickers because, well, we don't want to fake out a plumber someday and uh, well, not everybody who does plumbing is a plumber. It's all good. The homeowners know that their plumbing's jacked up. They bought the house like this and they're going to fix it. Sometimes you get deals and then you fix it later with and get that sweat equity in. So right here, I darn near missed this thing. When I first assessed this house, I was dog tired is at the end of the day. And, and plus I was going off the data assuming that their, their radon levels were 5, not 35. So, you know, this doesn't get a lot of use. It's pretty dry in here, but a lot of these sump pits, and, and I've got videos about sump pits and where the sump pit was the culprit. And, you know, there's lots of comparisons um, with houses in radon where houses act like balloons or houses act like chimneys. Um, in, in my sump pit cases, it was as if, like, this was just, pumping radon into the house. And that's the way I kind of feel about it like this. Oh, hey. So what we're gonna do for these homeowners is, I'm just gonna put this back in like so, right? And we're just gonna seal it up with a little plastic. However, in just a little bit, I'm gonna come back and put a real deal sump pump lid on here. But this will get us going for today. I don't have these pieces glued. Um, so when I come back and put a, a legit lid in, uh, we will seal this thing up proper and just be drawing that radon right out of this big old hole here. And we'll see what happens to those numbers. Okay, so we are at another job site. And um, so we're at a brick ranch. And what you just saw is a high suction fan. But what we're doing is demonstrating a sump pit that we would leave alone. So give you a couple of examples here of different things you're gonna see. Okay, so this is a uh, probably 50s, 60s brick ranch. And uh, I'll take you over there in a, in a, here in a moment. But there's very poor gravel content, so therefore that's why we're gonna use a high suction fan. Here is a sump pit. And we're just gonna leave it alone. Um, I wish I had some hard and fast rules like a flow chart 
as to you know stuff that we would draw from, stuff that we'd cover up, and stuff that we leave alone. Um, the information I had on this house is that the radar levels were 4.8, just barely failed real estate transaction. But also back at the other house, the information we had was 5.5, and we know that's different. So, ha! Ah, how do you make sense of all this stuff? Well experience and intuition and if somebody out there has a flow chart please share it with us um, i'm doing the best i can with the data i've got and experience i've got um, so why did i leave this alone because i, I, I could not do, i don't really know what's going on right here exactly and i don't believe there to be like a drain system tied into it it, it appears to be just taking in a drain, drain from the washing machine, and I suspect this floor drain right there as well. And that's it. So, and it's mostly covered. It's got a pretty good seal, except for that little hole right there, and I'm, I'm just not gonna worry with that. And that's, that's essentially why I've left it alone. So, uh, here's a little bonus for you. This is a system that calls for high suction. Here's why. Now I'll show you some digging tips. Very little gravel in this hole. Let's see if we can get you in here. Right. So what you what you're looking at is you might see some ground. Yeah, sorry. So the best way to excavate an area with poor gravel is you want to go towards the corners. So I really just expose. This is where you're going to move air is in the perimeter of the home as opposed to digging out here hoping for some sort of radial uh, draw that's not really going to happen that well for you it's your your air draw is going to come from the perimeter okay uh, the way these floors settle over time it's kind of like a contact lens right and so the gravel content is going to be on the edge of that contact lens that's your greatest chance of drawing air, therefore removing radon from older homes like this. All right, and then we just attach the piping and done. All right, let's head back over to the other house. We're gonna put that lid on, uh, therefore uh, put the cherry on top of this video. Okay, see you over there. All right, and we are back on the job site. So, um, since we've last gotten together here, it has rained crazy here. And this sump pit is active. Um, it'll probably fire up while I'm making this video. And uh, so we've got the lid. And so let me show you what that's all about. So this is right here. Let's see. Light's kind of crappy today. So this is the lid. It came like this. And this right here is called the hyper drain. What this bad boy does is allows water to come through the lid and get down into the sump pit here. And, but it will not let air come through. So it's pretty ingenious when you, when you think about that. Um, let me see here. All right, I'm going to show you. All right, so it comes with this little ring nut thing. And uh, aha, this lid, it's already got groove in it. So this, this is lid right here, by the way, it's sold by Radon Away. And uh, this is the Hyper Drain. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so she's active today. Anyway, um, so let me show you this real quick. I'm not gonna do it for real right now. At any rate, that's the way it works. Um, I'll, I'll, find, I'll get it threaded correctly and lock it in here and show you how we come out. Okay, so this thing is full, and there's something daffy going on with this hose. Alright, we've run Teflon tape. Run it about three times there. Screwing it in. Like so. Oh, there we go. Party time. So, because my timing is so awesome, um, what we're going to need to do is kind of like a switcheroo. And so I'm going to drain this thing down as far as I can get it. Ah! Then I've got to disconnect this thing so I can get this on and hope that the water doesn't fill up too quick. 
Challenge accepted. Alright, we're about getting it like we want it here. We're gonna start peeling off this, uh, this little layer of stuff. I can't find my words right now. I was out on a job till 10 last night, so it's like working hunting over. <laughs> Alright, so it's got two sides. We're gonna do the second side here. This is a lot beefier than it looks. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's about, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch thick. Took me a minute to, to uh, cut the, uh, the holes through it. Yeah, that's gonna look sharp right there. All right, so we've got that notched out for the uh, electrical, for the sump pump. Um, and... <laughs> Oh, 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 that's nice. Ooh, yeah. All right, and then we're gonna shorten this pipe up a little bit, connect it to that, glue it back together. And um, this right here is an access portal, so you can get down there and stuff. Um, yeah, we're plugging along. Ta da! Hey, now that looks pretty snazzy, don't you think? It is no accident that this is such a snug fit. I'm trying to shoot a radar video, stupid sump pump. Like I was trying to say, it's no accident that this is such a snug fit. These uh, sump pit covers come in standard sizes, uh, made to work with these uh, these sump pits. So this was a 20 incher, and it fits like a glove. A lot better than that. Are we going to seal it up airtight? Nope, because we crushed it with that. And uh, somebody, maybe me, will need to come back here very soon and do a repair on this discharge line. You can see it's, it's spraying underneath the, uh, the, uh, the, the plexiglass here or whatever it is. Um, but I guarantee you that this is more airtight than that ever was. And I think we're going to let that ride. So just a, a reminder here, this is, this is the radon uh, suction point. It's connecting us all the way over there. Remember that? I sure do. Okay. Super Mario World. <laughs> and we are going out there. So that's, this, is, this is the guy that's connecting us all the way over there. Okay. All right, so I hope you picked up something. If you did, why don't you consider smashing that like button and subscribing, crying out loud. I put out lots of content for the Radon community. Doesn't cost you a dime, means the world to me. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. That's where the water comes out in case you were interested. <laughs> I'm in the van doing paperwork, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs>